Hey guys, it's Channel Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, well, a new secret weapon, as well as a secret third person mode that goes along with it, has been discovered in the Halo Infinite campaign. So, I know I haven't really done any Halo Infinite videos for a while now, but I figured this was something that's really cool and I wanted to show you guys so that you can uh, try it out and experience it for yourself, because this is probably one of the cooler easter eggs in Halo Infinite. So without further ado, let's get right into the tutorial and see how it's done. So first of all, you need to grab yourself the tank cannon at the beginning of the uh, campaign, near the beginning, when you're at Outpost Harmonious. You can just grab it off this turret here, you don't, you don't have to push any buttons or anything, just walk up to the tip of this. Uh, turret here and then pick up the tank cannon and that, that's it technically the tank cannon isn't part of the requirement but it'll help you a lot because what you need to do next is on legendary difficulty you need to kill the first two bosses well the second and third boss in uh well in under 30 seconds if you go over 30 seconds then you have to restart so first up is chat clock just use the tank cannon to kill one in 30 seconds probably go a lot quicker than I can but remember this has to be a legendary difficulty just the boss fights after that you can actually revert back to an easier difficulty if, if you want but the bosses have to be killed on legendary difficulty in under 30 seconds and as you can see the easiest way to do that is with the tank cannon actually fastest you can kill him in like one second with the tank cannon I actually did not do so well with that tank cannon there but anyways once you're done do not progress further in the campaign Leave the area that was the boss's fast fight and come to this bottom left corner of the map. Uh, and you want to climb the whole mountain here on the left side of the mountain. Just like right and the left side of the mountain. You want to climb the left side of the mountain. And make your way to the very top and you'll see this, uh, this banished drop pod is spawned in at the top here. Uh, and I'm actually not sure what, it, what the purpose of it is there. It might just be there because but it'll be floating a little bit above the ground and it'll be like some weapons and grenades lying around it uh, so this is technically part of the Easter egg but I don't fully know what the reason for this is maybe there's more to it than that but the main thing actually that I also noticed is that to the left of this drop pod and actually I first want to also show you that the drop pod I don't think it could be damaged I punched it and shot a little bit and you can't ride in or anything, so I'm not sure what's going on. But to the left of it here, you'll see this little piece of floating uh, grass here, or a little floating bush. And right behind it is an invisible weapon. So it could be connected to the drop pod, because the drop pod is floating, that grass is floating. And right behind the floating grass is an invisible weapon that you can pick up. It only spawns if you do this method correctly, but you can pick it up and it puts you in third person. But not just in third person. It puts Master Chief in like a, uh, well, I can't really describe it. He's just like a, in a, well, he's in a weaponless pose. But he has a proper like weaponless animation. He like correctly walks around in third person. Uh, and then you can actually rotate your camera around so you can see Master Chief from the front. So I guess, you know, since 343 never added campaign theater back into Halo Infinite, it's really has been missing since Halo 4. Uh, but since they never had a campaign theater back, this technically is now the closest thing to campaign theater mode. So I guess this could be like some kind of Easter egg substitute for theater mode. Because now not only can you explore around in third person while having that weapon equipped, but you can also like, you know, rotate your camera and see, see from your front perspective, which with other third person weapons, I'm pretty sure you normally can't rotate the camera all the way around to see uh, the front of your character or the front of Master Chief. Uh, so yeah, it's a really cool thing and you can actually see Master Chief's sprinting animation and everything in third person in campaign. So it's a, it's a pretty nifty little Easter egg and it's not too hard to do. Like I said, with the tank cannon, it's very easy to do. Um, although technically the tank cannon is considered a bug in the game, I think. Uh, I'm, at least that's what a lot of people have said. It's it's a bug, so I, I I don't know. It could be patched one day, in which case this Easter egg will get a lot harder to do because without the tank cannon, the kill Chacklock and Bassus in under 30 seconds each, it could be a little tricky, especially on legendary difficulty. I mean, even on easy difficulty, it uh, 30 seconds could be cutting it kind of close. So yeah, I guess for now. While the tank cannon is still available, definitely uh, 
you know, definitely do this before before it's gone. I if it's gone. I would hope that 3 for 3 would keep the tank cannon in the game. But you never know, because the tank cannon does make, like, Lasso Legendary ridiculously easy. So, yeah, just uh, enjoy it while it lasts. And um, enjoy this Easter egg while it's easy. But... Yeah, that's basically all there is to it. Uh, if anybody happens to know what the purpose of the drop pod is, if, it, if there's anything else to it, if there's more to this Easter egg, then you know, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. But for now, I think I think this is it. I mean, this is all I could find about it. I maybe there's more to it, but I, I'm not sure because uh, this third person mode is not actually useful for combat because you can't actually you can still grapple onto enemies, but you can't melee them. You can't shoot. I mean, you could swap to a different weapon, but then you lose the third person. So it's, uh, I think it's, might be like some Easter egg like, or like some leftover developer thing um, to, you know, to use for screenshots and stuff. And they just added it as an Easter egg, but it's not really meant for combat or anything. But yeah, that's about it for this uh, video. Hopefully you guys found this to be interesting. And if you did enjoy it and, uh, you know, try it out for yourself, then definitely uh, leave a like. Aside from that, leave your thoughts in the comments. Um, if there's anything else you want to check out or look into, just let me know down below. And uh, if you enjoyed this April Fool's video, also uh, let me know. And aside from that, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Happy April Fool's, everyone.